Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Show Films. I'm John, your executive producer here. I want to thank you all for tuning in uh, and watching all of you that uh, help support us both on Twitch and on our Patreon, patreon.com slash msfilms. Particularly, uh, I want to thank our $25 tier supporters on Patreon, whom I will thank specifically once my uh, web browser loads properly because I'm having some issues on my end. Uh, but those are Rowan Parker, Jeffrey Alexander, Samantha Bates, Cat Waterflame, and L. Thank you very much for your support uh, and for helping us do all the things that we want to do. So, those of you that are watching live, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. And we're live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Star Wars The Twilight Nights. I am your game master for the evening, John, the bearer of these really cool gold token coins that I'm never going to get to use because I don't GM in person. Um, <laughs> you could. <laughs> anymore. Uh... <laughs> Uh, also, Black Lives Matter, Trans Rights, Human Rights, etc., etc. Join me today. As I remember that there are things I do in this particular opening. Yes, there are. Is Jack? Hey, everybody! I'm Jack. I'm playing Plunk Kikek, the Jawa uh, Mystic Seer, Consular Sage. Oh, yeah, as soon as probably... the GM clears yeah. the desk table, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, roll yeah. some friggin' <laughs> dice. Yeah, you have a lot yeah, to do. It's yeah. not your, yeah, no. There, things things are bound to. Hmm. Hey, one light side. Wow, hmm. that's unusual. Hmm. Well, I go grab the one that I just dropped because they are also my new fidgets. Uh... Oh boy, that can't possibly end badly. Mostly, I just dropped them. Uh, yeah. Also, mm -hmm. me is Mara. Hi, I'm Mara. I'm playing Nariz, uh, droid, consular healer, and Nimmin disciple, and two light side. Yeah. You know, they're really neat. They are, these are what Beetle and Grimm uh, determined that uh, a Taldori, Taldorian gold coin looks like in universe. And so I, I difficult to carry. Them. I was going to say, very, very impractical, but okay. Non stackable. Oh no, they're very stackable. Okay. Just because they're not in a circle doesn't mean they're not stackable. The, it, no, they can stack. stack. They just won't like oh, okay. sit. It's, <laughs> no, it's going to be very hard to make vending machines in Teldori. That's what we're they, saying. They <laughs> flat and they stick. They sit. Okay. I just fidget. <laughs> Those are words. <laughs> yeah. They just look like they wouldn't stack, but they do. Anyways, also joining me is. Jeremy. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and for as long as this character is still alive, I've been playing <laughs> Nasty, uh, a, a Zoltron uh, a Shadow. Um, this is concerning. It's like oh, no. the it's like the the, the <sighs> roll twenty is like, oh, honey, so you're gonna need you this. Need it. <laughs> <laughs> It saw what happened last week, knows who you are as players, and is like, I better give them all the help they need. <laughs> and... Holly. Uh, hi, I'm Holly. I'm playing uh, Vazia, Pureblood Sith, Jia Berserker. And this, wow. Keeps on coming. Well, Off night tonight. And William. Hi, I'm William, and I'm playing Corsarath, the Sith Pure Blood Bakashi Duelist, and I'm going to roll the only dark side. Somehow roll six dark side, please. <laughs> please, yeah. There well, you I rolled, go. I said I roll the it. only dark side. <laughs> yep. Better now. There is exactly one dark side. I didn't even roll two dark side. I don't know if you can roll two dark side. You can. Yeah, you totally you can. can. Yeah, you can I've done it side. many a time. There are yep. two, As have I. two dark, two light. 
So apparently right. the universe is looking hopeful as two of you are on the ground, collapsed, dying of rat ghoul uh, disease. Yep. Uh, <laughs> right. Yep. The, because I'm here. <laughs> I'm nice. remembering where we were. <laughs> Having volunteered to be test subjects, whether or not they said those words explicitly or not, um, headed off from the forward operating base of the Taurus Reclamation uh, uh, organization, um, heading towards the heavily infested hospital of Old Terrace that previously uh, samples of an older version of the vaccine had been found in hoping to either a find the source of something that seemed to be amplifying the uh the hunger that they've been feeling or b some find someone who had been bitten recently but not yet turned into a rat goal that they could use their blood to synthesize a vaccine from fortunately they now have two as neary stands over the unconscious bodies of esty and plunk uh, Plunk's not unconscious we're oh, not Plunk's unconscious. unconscious are you not, both not unconscious? unconscious no yeah no uh, hmm. i am I was unconscious, and uh, then I was stimmed back to consciousness, but I was also stunned for my turn. Esty yeah. stands over the uh, rapidly growing more feverish bodies of Esty and Plunk. Yep. All right. Plunk's just kind of on his back, gently corralling his intestines back to where they belong. Uh, hold on. And once they're Dude, back there, Plunk in order has to... some rubbery intestines. They just keep oh, pulling he's... out and he just pulls them right back in. Yep, yep. It, look, man, Jawa physiology, we can handle some trauma better than than others. Disemboweling, we're good. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, as long as you don't, like, you know, fully disembowel out. <laughs> we're kind of like say, sea cucumbers, but in the desert mm -hmm. and like to evolved just, to handle that sort of climate. I like, I like to think their Jawas are just mostly chitinous underneath the mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So it's all As we anyways. have recently learned. They're very furry. furry. Yeah, very I'm furry. Stabbing I haven't seen Boba Fett, so I have no idea what you're talking about. That's okay. That's not a significant spoiler. It, it's yes, just it's, it's, anyway. It's just Plunk side goes through his Plunk goes through his robes and gets another piece of candy out and just shove it in your mouth. Also, being furry does not exclude them from having an exoskeleton. This is true. This is true. We've seen weirder. Yep. Yeah, I'm st I'm 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 stabbing someone. Uh, it says I get a, take a round to fabricate a vial. Um, can Ooh. I? Do... Well, you used Esty's blood, so it should probably go to Esty because I don't know that yeah. my her blood is. I don't know that we have the same blood. I'm hesitant to even say type. Chemistry. On the flip side, I already have my backup character made. <laughs> this is Star Wars, Jack. Every, medicine works exactly the same on every single species. No, it doesn't. That's why they're medical droids. <laughs> I have a thing that was. Yeah, but everything can be healed by sitting submerged in Bacta. You know oh, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacta does exist. Mm -hmm. That's because Bacta's fancy. Um, well, oh, yeah. everything it's except for droids. Fix. Mm -hmm. Everything organic. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I don't, um, so I had, uh, I think, I think it started on Estes. Can I start on uh, Plunks now? Because it takes like a round for it to finish making. Sure. Okay, I stab Plunk. Hang on. Bitch. Did anyone else get oh, wow. bitten? Turn. Look at the two Sith. You didn't fight anyone, did you? No. Good. Of course, Wrath, who is still wearing his helmet and completely unscratched. I don't know. You might, you have stuff on. I don't. Eat, eat the I'm, as soon as. I, I didn't eat... get bit, I got clawed. I don't know if that's relevant. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's probably not. As far as we know, they spread through any kind of wound. Still, you you seem affected. As soon as I can, I'd like to administer my two of the six doses. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you generate two doses, one from oh. Plunk and one from S. Are you going to be generating any more? Um. Because again, the the like the yes. what you have are like basically sort of like the you have a 
you have the base chemical state of a potential vaccine. Yeah. In yeah, a, I, would, I would like to generate in a chemical of synthesizer. Of so uh-huh. yeah, so yeah, so you introduce samples of blood to all six vials. Yep. Um, and then, there is this sort of there's a this sort of a whirring mechanical sound coming from the synthesizer. After a few seconds, two vials ting ting pop out, ready to be used. Right. Hold still. Administer. Administer. Right, so you insert them into an injector inject both Plunk and Esty with vaccine Plunk and Esty I need you both to make uh, resilience to checks difficulty 2 okay use the force because vaccines are not a cure all you know what Hey, three successes and a threat. <laughs> I'm gonna just spend a lot. I'm gonna. I, we got enough. I'm gonna spend one. Yeah. Probably still. Okay, there's one. Right, so, do you 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 definitely feel like your fever is getting hotter, but you're not taking any abs. You're not taking any uh, like specific effects from it. What are you doing? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Can someone please put my spare parts back in? <laughs> yes, I will. I am technically so, still stunned, so I do not respond. Sort of hot glue plunk together. Yeah, do, the, <laughs> do, do, do the medical work you can, Neres, and I can uh, I can supplement with the force. Right. Okay. I'm going to do a medical check on plunk. Uh, you're over half. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I am nine wounds out of ten. Okay. Where's my... Where I should have opened this earlier. Medical check. Over half is diff two? two? Uh, I've got flow up. And medicine. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, wounds healed plus two, seven. I got seven of my wounds healed? Yep. And awesome. if you've got five strain, go for that too. I have one strain, so I'll okay. uh, eliminate that. Mm-hmm. There you go. Now that was just for okay. Uh, I also have a uh, critical injury. I don't know if you want to poke at that, at that at all. That one, I believe, takes like an hour of work. Mm. Up to John. Um, yeah, I, yeah. That one, that one takes that one takes an hour of work. Okay. okay, we'll hold off on that for now. I only have yeah. one. It wasn't a bad one anyway. Okay. How many advantages did you use? You just did one, right? I only used one of those. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take two of those <coughs> and get rid of my strain. This is helping me. I'm and being useful. I will lay a hand on Plunk and heal the rest of the way if possible. It's definitely possible. Uh, each of those light sides cures uh, two wounds. Cool. I can also heal Esty. Um, I will do that. Because I have heal, harm. I think I can do that on other people. Let me double yes. check real quick. Can someone really quick tell me what stat perception scales off of? Uh, uh, perception is cunning, cunning, I believe. Thank you. Cunning. Coercion also SD. cunning? Uh, uh, no, coercion, coercion is, is willpower. Uh, coercion is willpower, yes. Thank Sorry, you. charm is presence. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm just putting together something on. While this is going on, Avazia just sits down next to Plunk, hand on shoulder. Supporting. One kind of pat pats the hand. Got two wounds healed, Jeremy. Okay. Is your willpower only one? Uh, did I do that math wrong? Hang on, let me look. Spend one force to heal another wounds. Oh, equal to intellect. 
equal to um, intellect. Sorry, intellect. That's yes. true. Uh, no, it's not. It's something. Uh, it's two, so actually four. Yeah, yeah. we have Thank we you. have the same healing power. Thank you. <laughs> I don't use that very often. Which is weird, considering you're, you know, a medicine type droid. I mostly just do it. <laughs> yeah, mostly, mostly the mostly the medicine droid does the medicine work physically rather than with the force. Yeah, this is for stuff I. Can't. Yeah, medicine also scales off of intellect <laughs> <laughs> and skill. Are you still injured, uh, Plunk? I think I can do it on you, too. Yep. Nope, he's good. Okay. Yeah, each use, each use of the heal power on someone qualifies as one of their stim pack uses for the day. Okay. All right. Which basically means that anyone with the heal power has free stim packs as long as they've got, you know, enough force and enough intel intelligence to make it worth it. Opie Majakosa. Looks like we're actually done here then, Ow. I guess. Yes, we should head back. The reason you were coming out here yeah. wasn't for a vaccine. It was to find the source of that dark side energy. Well, we should help head back. We should head to the forward base of those doctors that were nearer to the hospital and give them the vaccine information that we've got so that they might be able to fabricate one en masse. Oh, Assuming boy. the vaccine works and the two of you aren't slowly dying and turning into rat ghouls right now. I'm watching out. <laughs> I am slowly dialing, but I don't feel like a rat ghoul right now, I think. <laughs> Avazia will kind of poke Plunk. Plunk is very What? Long. We're all slowly dialing, dying. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now I was seeing if you were a rat. You seem fine. It's a K, not a T. Rack, whatever. Rack ghoul. Whatever it is, he's fine. How are you doing, SD? Ow, I said. Okay. Are you feeling better? I mean, yes. Thank you. Good. I say that because I'm not a, a hair's breadth from dead, so yes. Are you able to walk? Should be. Let's make our way to this forward base of doctors and hand over the vaccine information we have. I'm not going in the front this time. Probably a good idea. All right. So as you're heading towards the forward, uh, the forward base or the 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 forward listening post that you were directed towards, I need someone to roll me a d100 again. I was gonna say I did it last time. I On did. it. Yes. Oh. Oh, why? Too late. Okay. <laughs> 59. Another ambush by three groups of rat ghouls. We don't know if he's using the same table this Only week. Only if I'm using the same table. I have multiple tables. Four. Four groups of rat ghouls. <laughs> four four, <laughs> four <laughs> rat ghouls. <laughs> no. Uh, that's not what it is. So, as you are heading that towards... That means it's something. <laughs> as you are heading towards where you believe the uh, the listening post to be, from where you're, from your current position, uh, I need all of you to make me a, uh, what was it? What was the... Perception? No. What was the skill? I think it's resilience. Resilience? Discipline, if it's no, a mental discipline. thing. Yeah, discipline. I need you all to make a Dis discipline. Dis discipline difficulty two. Check. Discipline. I should do well at these. I have Advantages. I got two success, two threat. Is there a re... 
five six didn't seven, we get is this to resist thing because oh right yeah is this is this thing that my battle meditation is giving us boost dice on yes it is okay cool with boost dice then oh should we and was it one or two I'm not re-rolling. some reason i have one boost lists. die one okay. boost die so re-roll with one boost die do i have to mm. yes okay <laughs> success <laughs> look look jack the virtual dice ah, could have knocked each other steps. together differently. And in this I case, feel like we're all a a better at this one. Uh, I'll take it. I was it's just good. paranoid. Mm-hmm. Four um, successes. So you all succeed. Break. So you all feel a spike of emotion coming from this sourceless rage, hunger. Um... Ah, rage sort of, angry. Yeah, they're very angry. <laughs> sort of spikes into your brain for a second, but you all manage to push it away uh, as you do feel your own hunger deepening. You are all, again, including Neri's, which is particularly weird for you considering you don't have a stomach, very hungry right I would, now. I, I just want to know what, what Neri's would be forced to do should they fail this because they don't have a mouth either. You'll, well, you'll <laughs> have to find out, won't you? Can we sabotage like just Neri's on this somehow, wow. guys? I'm curious. Wow. <laughs> you might end up regretting this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say I wouldn't regret it. I'm it. still curious, though. <laughs> Just want to um, know who I'm eating this time. Speaking of, can I roll the battle meditation again to see if I give a uh, extra boost die? Or do you want to take? More? Do you want to take the time to do that? I mean, it's something. It's a it's a force power that I use. Yeah, yeah, but it takes time. It takes you a minute to focus it. It's literally meditation. Yeah, yeah. you literally sit down and meditate. <laughs> <laughs> there is very little meditation you can do. While traversing a hostile know. environment, tell, tell the game. Tell the game that it only takes an action mechanically. <laughs> yeah, but you do sit down and like focus for a round. Yeah, are you? Which means you do have to stop moving for long enough to provide a benefit. The next time we run into that, I would like to. Yes. Okay. So you all pause for a moment. Moving. Make your make your ability check. Plunk like walks into the back of somebody's leg as everybody stops and he doesn't notice. I ignore the difficulty on that. So for light side. Okay. Uh, what is the and so I think I think I don't think you have the ability to enhance the boost you give right now, right? Uh, yeah, I can only give the one right now. I have not gotten the strength upgrade yet. Yeah. So because you're combining it with your influence power uh, when you're making the check, you only give one boost. You say you have one boost the next time anyone has to deal with that particular issue again. Mm-hmm. Uh, while you're doing that, oh, as you pause to to focus, um, I need everyone to give me some initiative checks. Hey, wanna... vigilance. Uh, this is going to be just Let because me... I don't want anyone blindsided by that again and going to eat anyone. That's okay. Not we're not, nobody's questioning the tactical relevance of your decision there. <laughs> are we prepared or unprepared for this initiative? Are you are unprepared? You unexpected. Yeah, vigilance. Vigilance. <laughs> two and two. Sorry, I was trying to vigilance. find the. I was trying to find the actual like and ignore the difficulty. <laughs> thing it didn't it didn't change my result all right no it would be a 2-1 rather than a 2-0 1-0 oh you don't have difficulty what are you doing i'm not the only one haha The the two O PC initiative should be a two one. Two O should be a two one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So first PC slot. 
course, Wrath is taking this to begin his battle meditation. Okay. Uh, let me arrange that. I feel like that 2-4 should be above it, shouldn't it? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. the advantage is 2-4 should be above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first yeah. one, course, Wrath is taking that. Second PC slot. I ass- Do we see anything? Not the moment. Okay. Blunk will sit there and fiddle with his staff. Hmm? Bask right. in the force. Doot, doot, doot. Hmm. Next PC slot. I'd like to take it to, to just prepare. Uh, hang mm-hmm. on. Um, I'm going to take a garden stance. Something's, something's up. Okay. So. I mean, do we have any inclination that something's up? Not at the moment, but Neri's can be I'm paranoid. Anxious and we okay. stopped. <laughs> it's not out of character for Neri's to. It's not out of character for Neri's to go. There are enemies all around us. <laughs> <laughs> Neri's, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Neri's, this is a Spacey's. Kevin Spacey. See, no, that uh, just makes. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. That even took a worse turn than I thought. Okay. Never mind. I'm just gonna I, shut up now. I was gonna say, where you want you, you? Where are you going with that exactly? <laughs> I was gonna say that just sounds like the space version of a Shoney's, which is a terrible place. I think. I think the original joke that I'm ripping that from was actually was that it was a space version of a Denny's. Okay. Next PC slot. Uh I will. Sigh and look around. Keep an eye out. Oh, Stay alert. Check. Difficulty two. Okay. Uh, difficulty two. Perception. That is a success and a triumph. Yeah. So with a triumph. Um, you're. Am I gonna you're... notice the thing and then get killed by it again? <laughs> you know, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, you hear the sound of rubble shifting, and not again. Mechanized units maneuvering through the rubble around you. Heads up, folks! <laughs> droids incoming. So Look, sir, droids. One. Maneuver second. <laughs> Uh, second maneuver for you, Jeremy. Uh, is there anywhere? Is there any cover to move? Yeah, there's a, there's a wide variety of rubble uh-huh. nearby that you can use as cover. That isn't obviously in the process of shifting. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would this be is... just my like. I'm like, I dive behind these rocks. The rocks you will are... lift up. You are in a 360 degree circle of ruin. There is ruin somewhere in not okay. the direction that you heard. I'm going to find from. somewhere to dive for cover for. Yeah. So we'll say you get uh, you just you hit you get um as you get into cover you get um uh, uh one uh range defense. Okay. Added to your added to your ability. Actually, we'll say two because no. you can find some pretty hefty cover to get behind. Okay. All right. Next PC slot. Avasia. Okay. Yeah, I think that's me. Um, do I see anything as SD says that? You can make a perception check if you want. If you don't trust SD's report. I mean, I trust SD. Uh, that was the uh, first mistake. What um what difficulty? Two. Two successes. You don't see anything, but you definitely hear. The droids on the on the approach. Okay, then um, save her out, and she will start moving cautiously towards that direction. Move her to approach. All right, NPC slot. So, from a small, a short distance away, just around the corner from some rubble that you're next to, um, that would be in the opposite direction from where. SD dove for cover. Uh, around the corner comes uh, a trio of ancient Imperial droids. These look to have been shock troopers that were used in the initial battle on Taurus that have managed to survive since then. However many hundreds of years ago that was. 
don't look to be in the best condition, do they? They are not in good condition at all. They are covered in rust and grime, and bits of them have been banged up and scratched at. But the blasters integrated into their arm where a hand should be are certainly charged. As they come around the corner, see organics and fire. Uh, I'll be firing at the first one they see, which is Avasia. I am hoping they have, like, equipment penalties, <laughs> potentially. Uh, Avasia, having come up to them, uh, is going to be in short range. Uh, to them. They're only going to have one difficulty. What's your range defense, Avasia? Uh, ranged is one. All right, and you're wearing Biscargum, which does a thing. Yes, it upgrades the difficulty on their attack. All right, so range one, upgrade difficulty. So two set back, one for condition, one for defense, one difficulty, one upgrade. However, they are ambushers, which gives them a bonus die, and they are veterans, which gives them an upgrade. All right. Let's see what happens. Pew pew happens. <laughs> Nothing on the difficulty or the setback dies. Except for the upgraded one. <laughs> Except for the upgraded one. Which to be fair, rolled two rolled two difficulties, yeah. which did so, good. That's gonna be twelve points of damage. Um since they have uh, they don't have enough for their crit, so they're just going to use those two advantages to link fire, which means it's going to be another 12 damage. So you've got two instances of 12 damage coming in at you. Jesus Christ. Okay. Is it, Hold on. Is it linked or auto fire that doesn't take the extra successes? Is it auto fire that doesn't? Uh, auto oh. fire. Gosh. Okay. Auto fire is like linked, except you can target multiple things. Where in Link, you hit the same person. Yeah, I know I know one of them is like, okay. you don't count the extra successes, it's just a baseline hit. But I think that... Not, I, think both, I, I think both of them do. I am way past my wound threshold. Well, so uh, you get to don't soak it. You can soak. You soak. Twice. I already did. So what's your what's I was your already injured. What, what's your soak? My soak is four. Okay, so that drops it down to eight. eight. That's a total eight. of 16. Uh, total what brawn did you start with? What was your starting brawn when you made your character? Oh, I don't remember. I'm pretty certain it I'm was like sure. at least five or four. It was four or five. So you should have more than that. Should I? Because it's your starting brawn, which was, I'm going to assume four because you haven't changed four. it. Plus two for the Biscargum. So six. Which means you would have taken 12 damage total. Okay. I, I'm still at wound threshold, though. Like, yeah. I'm still past it. So, go ahead and roll a credit for me. As you sort of walk towards these, the sound of these droids, and the rest of you watch as this trio of droids come around the corner and just unload on a Voss. Yeah. Get rid of that critical roll offset before you roll. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> okay. I'm just um, rolling this flat, or... Really quick, do you have any reflection abilities that you want to try to use, or no? You have reflect? Hold on. I don't believe so. You have parry, but not deflect. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so go ahead, uh, roll crit. Yeah, just flat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's not that bad. So, yeah, so just a barrage of <clears throat> blaster fire, and Avasi just goes down into a, in a smoking heap. This encounter was uh, described as resist, resist, uh, resist hunger. If keep moving, nothing. If stop, attack. Uh, if stop, droid ambush. Cool. <laughs> Uh, 
Second NPC saw it. Another group of NPC, another group of battle droids comes around. Uh, and they are going to be firing at the second person they see, which is Neres, who is taking a guard stance. Yep. Uh, so what's your guard stance? Uh, is that, provides a setback? Um, It does something. The chart does not say, and I forgot to look it up. Uh, look melee. up. Um, it only happens for melee attacks, actually. So oh. it wouldn't affect this. All right, cool. What's your range defense? Uh, good question. One. Okay, so one setback die plus another for their quality of their gear. No upgrade, but they still get their boosts. Ancient battle droids. Ancient battle droids. Ancient battle droids. It flows so well with the Big Bad Beetleborgs rhythm. Shaplow. Hey. These ones significantly less accurate. <laughs> I don't have a heat signature. I can't. I don't have a weird heat signature. <laughs> And sort of like hit the dirt and rubble around uh, Nereus. My cloak flutters in the wind. First PC slot. I would I would like to cut them down, please. Is your Mandalorian armor also made of Beskar? Uh, that no. was not in my. Sheet. Okay, it just it's, looks like it just looks like a, Mandalorian yeah, armor. It's a droid it's chassis, not actual Mandalorian armor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to uh, slash at them. Go ahead. It's a battle droid fashioned after a Mandalore. Okay. Yes. Because Avasia is down, but she didn't get bit, so I want to take care of them first. Imitation um, Mandalore, the ultimate. Not, not bit, just blasted. Yeah. Which is better. I say <laughs> confidently. Uh, what's the difficulty hit them with my lightsaber? No, huh. actually, can I get up to them? Um, it'll take two maneuvers to get to them. Ooh. Um, They're a short range band from where Vasya is, who had moved forward one range band. Okay, I'll let uh, someone else go first then. Oh, actually, no, that that uh, that roll was incorrect. I would have had two difficulty because you were a range band further away. Uh, it was at two difficulty, though? No, it was at one difficulty. Oh, no, it was at oh. two difficulty. Never mind. No, no, no. I did it right. Ha, ha, ha. Never mind. Yep. I was accurate. Someone else go. I think. Where uh, are they currently? Um, They are currently um, uh, two range vans away from you. In the opposite direction from where you had hidden, um, what are things basically on the other side of the group from where you're at? And so they're one range band away from the rest of us. No, there were two ba two range bands away from you guys. Um, so if I was, as he hid near near enough to be in the same range band as the rest of you. Okay, but just, okay. just behind cover. Um, Avasia had moved one range band closer to where they were coming from. So there's you guys and Avasia than them. Okay. Uh, I am going. I I will take it, and I am going to try to maneuver my way sneakily around. And okay. I will take a point of strain to, to to double move if I can. Yeah, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Okay. Uh, and with my stealthy thing that I do, I know there's something. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I okay. I had two blue die to my stealth checks, which I think I already have factored in. Yep. Oh, two. I see. That's what the thing. I like forgot. a lot of successes. Yeah, I forgot that the uh, the condition automatically adds uh, its penalties to the roll, which means that uh, I what I do what I failed to understand was that uh, poor condition weaponry adds difficulty, not setback. So. 
That's why that's too set. That's why it's too difficulty there. I'm not gonna reroll it because I would have to reroll a lot of other things. But going forward, all right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you stealthily maneuver around. Um, so you're using your action to move quietly and two maneuvers to get around to their to their general area. Correct. So you are in the same range band as the droids now. Okay. I then I think that's hidden. everything for me. <laughs> All right. I would assume. Yeah. Next PC slot. Uh, I will go. Uh, I will take a maneuver to get up to uh, Avazia. All right. Use my action for force heal. I don't need difficulty. I need to make sure there's no difficulty. Good. Good, good, good. Now, Vasya wasn't... Uh, Vasya had not been infected, but she had been mauled by the rat Yeah, yeah I've been cool. injured. Two, nice. four, six, eight. Uh, heal eight wounds. <sighs> What's the biggest thing here that Plunk can grab with move? Hmm. The rubble that SD was hiding behind or something like that because I mean, he can there's... he can pull anything out of secure. <laughs> yeah, there are there are various size one pieces of rubble around. Okay, uh, and then I will suffer two strain to take an extra maneuver and get into melee with these droids, so I'm not letting them shoot me at difficulty one. There. <laughs> All right. Next PC slot. Plunk is going to run forward screaming. Hmm. What does that sound like? <laughs> he's yelling something about rusty spare parts. Um, and he's going to grab whatever he can and whip it right at him. Maneuver to get into, that would be short range for one maneuver, right? Because they're at medium yeah. currently. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which would be a range difficulty check. Uh, short range is one, right? Yes. Okay. Next round, I can start using battle meditation after I've made sure that Avazi is not dying. All right. Sorry. Difficulty one. Come on. Dude. Hey. <laughs> All right. So here's a question. Yes. So one to activate move. I can spend force points to increase the silhouette. So I can with three to spare, I feel like I think I can grab two things and hit them hit each one of them. Once. Uh, one to throw, one, one for throw. a second thing. One two for a second for silhouette thing. One. Two for silhouette one. For both those things. For yeah. both those things. Yep. Okay. So yeah, each one of them is getting a damage 10 hit. <laughs> so yeah, two chunks of rubble and rebar. <laughs> um, I like to think that he's yanking out whatever SD was currently crouched behind. <laughs> whatever SD was most recently really? crouched Really? Yeah. Esty, <laughs> you're like crouched behind some rubble and the piece of rubble next to you that you had instinctively moved away from just lifts and throws. <laughs> You're still you're still in cover. He just grabbed whatever you had most recently been behind before your current position. Yeah. The cover um, is disappearing behind you. <laughs> the rubble <laughs> two rubbles hit two two pieces of rubble hit two different droids. And you watch as the rubble craters across them mm-hmm. and just scatters behind them. They're still standing. They took some damage, but not as much as you were expecting. Right. Yeah. No. They're they're droids. They're made of metal. Hitting them with rocks is not always the best plan. As Plunk goes, well, that's my only tactic. Yep. <clears throat> well, no. He's got he's got one other tactic. He's going to try that next round, depending what happens. Right. Boss is up, so I'm going to fire. Next PC slot. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to aim and fire with my arm blasters. So boost die, difficulty two for your range. Yep. Oh, uh, Avazia, your your soak should be one higher because you've only got one dedication that you could have taken. So you you oh. started with you started with a brawn of five. Okay. And it's got accurate one, so I get another boost here. Two. Two successes. So eight damage. Yeah. Okay. And I will pass uh yeah, I'm good on strain. Uh, I'll pass those two uh, advantages to uh, give someone else in the, the next person assist. Also, you hold, out, you hold out your arm. <laughs> two more shots coming from your blaster and ping, ping, pinging off the armor of these battle droids. Uh, John, what do you know what page the critical injury table is on? Wait, found it. That page. Avazia, Avazia has has a series of talents called durable that should be reducing that critical injury. Oh. This is why oh, you yes, need to know your talents. Sorry. You have three instances of durable, which reduces your critical injury by 30. You rolled so you an 89. With, so you should have been rolling with so that minus should be 30. 60. 69. 69, nice. Hmm. Uh, scattered senses. Instead of increasing difficulty, you just get any. You just get uh, any any boost die you would have are removed. Okay, so I don't have that critical. No, so you have remove the given. one. So remove the one that you have, and then add uh, put sixty nine into the add critical injury and hit that. Okay. This thing says option. critical number. Yeah, there's an option underneath the critical roll button where you can put in a specific number to add a specific injury. So okay. Sixty nine. Okay, the one that says critical roll offset, or the one that says critical number. The one that says critical that number. One. Okay. And then hit the add critical button after you type in sixty nine. Gotcha. There, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So remember your durable features. Also remember that you have an even an even more interesting talent that says if you if a critical injury is one or is reduced to one, you don't suffer it. So if your durable takes a takes a critical injury roll down to one or lower, you just don't suffer the critical injury. Nice. That's good. All right. So that was that was that was Neri's next PC yep. slot. Makes Navasia. But unfortunately, um, because Scattered Senses does not benefit from the two boost die know. that <laughs> Neri's just hit. Uh, Avazia will get up. Maneuver to get up. And how far away are these things from me? One more range band. Okay. She will move to be. They take two strain to move into range. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you're engaged. So now you can make an attack. Murder. What weapon are you using? Uh, saber. Okay. Uh, what's difficulty on these? Two. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you just rip through one of the droids. All right. NPC slot. So the minion group that's now down to two redirects their focus on to Avasia again. Two. two, two, two. T two. What's your range? Oh, is this is this two groups of three droids? Uh, yes. I believe range is okay. one. One and then upgrade because it's the best cargo. Boom, boom. I assume their weapons are range light rather than range heavy, considering their arm blasters. Correct. Just a vanish, uh -huh. no hit. All right. Hey. And then the second one aiming at Corserath, who is also in melee with them. What's your range defense? 
Uh, also one, so okay. same situation. One upgrade from the Miskargum. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 11 damage. They are going to use one triumph to activate linked for another set of 11, and then one triumph to crit. I am going to uh, deflect both of those. Okay, so go ahead and take your strain three, twice. Three. Yep. And then how much do you deflect? Wait, sorry, that was I was on. Uh, I am almost at full strain. <laughs> Situation is dangerous. Um, I think so I've only got one or two rings to deflect. Welcome so. to the rest of our world, William. <laughs> <laughs> Be fair, I've taken no wounds until now. Oh, well, you're about to. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to take some wounds. Uh, I only have one rank of deflects. I reduced both of them by three. So that's two instances of eight. So 16 it's damage. Two instances of four. Why is it reduced to four? Because of my soak. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So... Wait. How so is it two inches? How is it two instances of twelve? I thought they'd do ten damage plus one for the extra success. Yeah, Eleven minus, minus three. Okay. Oh, right. then minus four. Okay. Yep. Sorry. I was, I had a four stuck in my head where it was supposed to be a three. Never mind. Yeah. So that's eight damage total that you take plus a critical injury. Roll critical. I am not a juggernaut, so I do not get to reduce this. I am off balance. One setback die on my next kill check. Yeah. They're just like sort of, again, in, in engaged range fists out just unloading uh and the some of the blasters that don't deflect off the miscargum hit you in a couple of the joints and the armor like sort of twists in a weird way because it's meant to meant it's meant to deflect small amounts of shots not an entire volley from a squad of droids <laughs> yeah that's valid hmm? uh all right so that's two pc slot Plunk will go if nobody else has anything uh, imperative. I was, they want I was to going to battle meditate. Oh, okay. So that everyone can have advantages for this fight. Go for it. I will use battle meditation as my action. All right, go ahead. Lang. So yes, uh, I will spend an, I will spend a force point to use my range upgrade so that I can hit everybody in short range, which should be everybody. Go. Cool. So all we right, all so have a one automatic and success. Guy. Yeah, right, you all, you all get you all get one automatic success on any checks you make for the next until the end of my next turn. Cool. Okay. Uh, and for my maneuver. Uh, there is no defensive stance thing you can do for range attacks. Uh, you can drop prone, which uh, makes it harder for you to hit, get hit on ranged attacks. Except when they're right next to you. I was say, unless they're engaged, which they are. Then they just point down. Uh... See what I can do. Where's the where's the maneuvers in combat? Da, 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 da. Maneuvers doesn't say anything about whether they're engaged with you or not. Mm. Dropping prone allows the character to add a setback die to all ranged attacks made against him. Although he must also add a boost die to all melee attacks against him. They can be engaged. They still get the the setback die. Mm. Let me pull page two oh nine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Love my adequately sourced pages. <laughs> Makes for easier rules. Moderation. What was that number again? 209. 209. Mm -hmm. If only I didn't have the brain of a goldfish. It happens. Mm -hmm. Do you keep it in a jar? Mm -hmm. That would be way too large of a vessel. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're tiny jars. That would still be way too large for a vessel. Yeah, 
ducking behind cover. Diving behind cover is the primary thing. Uh, drop prone or stand from prone. Dropping prone, all range attacks made against him. I'm trying to think if there's a count if the counter to that would be in the ranged attacks, probably. It might be in the rage attack modifiers uh, on page two seventeen, where we talk, where we found out the whole like weapon but, weapon I mean, size. It category. may also just be that they said no, you just get a but you just get a bonus. That's the de that's the defense against ranged, and nobody can fire down. They can only fire straight at you. Yeah, it's a, uh, there's also 217 where it says prone characters are harder to hit with ranged attacks but suffer no penalty when making ranged attacks. When a character attacks a prone target with a ranged light, ranged heavy, or gunnery check, he suffers a setback die. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about ranged Although, you, yeah. also, to, to you, also potentially... get, you also get a, bonus, a boost die to your next brawl, melee, or lightsaber check against a character that uses a ranged weapon and, and engaged. So keep that in mind for those of you using lightsabers. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Again. Whenever, whenever, uh, an whenever, opponent in... whenever Sorry, any, any opponent engaged with a character when the character makes a ranged attack may add boost to their next neck next brawl melee or lightsaber check against that character. If they fire a gun in melee, you get to hit them easier because they're exposing themselves. Ooh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, you're absolutely correct. Uh, just flat out sat back die when making ranged attacks. Uh, to potentially shortcut this anyway. Uh, this area is full of rubble. Is there potentially any cover I can get into while still being engaged? Yeah. So I'll use the interact with the environment option to just take cover instead. Yeah, so you duck behind some rubble. One additional, additional. we'll say the rubble you get behind isn't as sturdy as what SD had because SD had time to plan it. Um, so you get one ranged defense. Cool. Bonus. All right, next PC slot. Question. Mm -hmm. The Force user can pull objects out of secure mountings or out of an opponent's grasp. Can I rip these uh, no. wrist-mounted blasters out of their wrists? No, because they're not. They're not. It's it. It is their arm. Grasp. <laughs> it is. So it's securely mounted to their arm, is what you're saying. It's. It is their arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it's not mounted to their arm. arm. It is their arm. Their so arm is mounted to their chest. They have an appendage that is securely mounted to their person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, Almost I feel like, like I should be able to. I feel like I should be able to yank these blasters out of their arms. But if you say no, then that's fine. Yank their arms off. Could you yank that's the it. arms off of a living of a living creature? With the force, as at five force rating, probably yes. Mechanically. I don't that that's the thing. These the force powers are left open ended for the for the GM to decide do I, I believe, think this is possibly done. I believe the move ability specifically calls out whether or not you could rip the arms off of an individual. Mm. Yes. I'll throw more rocks. Mm. <laughs> They're still in short range, right? Yeah. All right. And I get an auto success from Battle Med. Hey, there's three dice again. Each group getting a... Yeah, and force powers are left open-ended. The reason why I'm asking you this information is because if you're allowed to rip the arms out of out, out of people with your force powers, that means I am too. Well, yeah. That's that's why force users get to resist each other's force powers. Right. I don't In think fairness, these, these droids probably aren't force users. <laughs> I don't think John would rip our arms off. The head is also an appendage. Uh -huh. It's true. Yep. It's true. It's much right. more securely in there. There's more like. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Uh huh. Because I'm gonna spend like a force not. point and use those dark side. Or right, I'm gonna spend a, a oh, light side point. point. Yep, and use them dark sides, so that I can send. So if I don't. Question uh -huh. Google searches. So one to move, one to increase the silhouette, and I've got three more to spend. 
Sorry, how many watch lists are you on, Mara? <laughs> so I could conceivably, with five force points, do three instances of 11 damage to one group. It's, uh, so this says you treat it as if you're as if you're hitting with the auto fire quality. So yes, yeah, I'll do that. I'll just rock hammer <laughs> into one of the groups, focus fire on this. Yeah, and Plunk just grabs whatever three rocks are biggest and closest, and just bam, bam, bam. You know, obviously right, so, he. Hmm, so are you yeah. hitting? Or are you hitting with? two big ones or it's three small ones uh or four small ones because like silhouette zero silhouette... you don't have to you don't have to add well, the yeah, extra but thing sil for silhouette zero. no i'm i'm hitting with two with the big ones hmm. okay okay so two so two per which means one right. for one, one for the throw, hit and then two plus two so right five total mm -hmm. So three total, yeah. So th so, so three total three, throws, three hits no, total. Yep. No, no. So hang on, sorry. One, I should, one for I should throw, point... one for one for silhouette one, then one for the second object, one for silhouette one, then one for a third object. Okay. So you so throw two, two silhouette two... ones and a silhouette, and a silhouette zero, zero, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> bam, bam, think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Silhouette zero is five, I think. Um, I think it's just yeah, 10. Yeah, sil silhouette yeah. zero da objects deal five damage, while other right, objects yeah. deal damage mm -hmm. equal to ten times their silhouette. Ten times their silhouette. I should, I should mm -hmm. point out that the, the strength upgrade implies that it affects all the targets, because it says that you can increase the maximum silhouette of objects a character can move by, by a number equal to the, like, it I think you only deactivate the strength upgrade once to increase the amount, the maximum size that you can grab things of. Whatever John decides, I'm cool with either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to break this game. <laughs> it says spends force point to increase the silhouette able to be targeted equal to yeah. So actually, yeah, no, actually no. In that case, yeah, you would only have to spend it once. So because you can that that means that increase the amount that you can target. You're only increasing it once. So in that oh, case, okay. So would it be guess, three yeah, three yeah, it would be three, yeah, three, three silhouette three, tens. Three silhouette oh, sorry, three silhouette ones. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, uh, 11, 11, 11, because I, I did get, oh no, sorry, 12, 12, 12, because I get an extra success from... From, from battle meditation. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, three instances of 12 damage, whatever, uh, to 12 rock damage to whatever these uh, droid Pokemon are. Hmm. Yeah, so math is fun, so, everybody. So, so just for the just for clarification, pulling objects out of a secure mounting um, is that's pulling it out of like if it's a if it's like a uh, like a mounted turret, you you can pull it out of that. Or if it's like mounted on a wall, you can pull it out of that, as opposed to something that is integrated into somebody's arm. Out of an opponent's grasp is something that they are holding that they could let go of. This is neither something that is mounted on a thing or on a wall, nor is it something that they can let go of. Which is why the control upgrade doesn't doesn't let you rip their arm off. Reasonable. I'm it's happy with my with my yeah no. It's, uh, I'm happy with my machine gun of boulders. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> so with three, bits I would of like to burst fire boulders at them. Are we aiming at one group or two, both groups? Uh, we're aiming it at one group, and it's three instances of 12 damage, because I get the extra one from okay. uh, Course so Arrest Battle Meditation. Hmm. The group that only has two left, or the group that has three left? Uh, the group that only has two left. Hmm. All right, they're gone. All right. <laughs> you bury that group. Excellent. Imagine when you get a second magnitude upgrade, and you can increase it by two each time you spend the force point. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Hmm. All right, next PC slot. I think SD wanted to go. But is currently eating. Yep. Currently eating yeah. <laughs> SD, who is I, 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 who is crouched behind a, a boulder with a with a what? with a That's, bowl of what? miso. Just, <laughs> just the other day, SD was complaining about never getting kill shots. So let's We're gonna let SD go. <laughs> I mean, just to be clear, because I've I've still not I'm still not sure on this terrain. There is still one that I can get to. Yeah, there's like, three. Still. I didn't get right. I'm not sure. I'm still not clear on where the placement of all these are, whether they were within this, like right next to each other or what. 
Yeah, they're all. You are currently in engaged with the remaining three. Okay. You're just behind a rock. So I'm slipping behind the rock or out from behind the rock. I'm running by. I am <sighs> slicing and then I'm probably running to somewhere else and hiding because that's what SD does. All right. Go make your attack. Hit and run with, with an invisible lightsaber. The 42 yep. plus whatever. Uh, they don't have any melee defense, so whatever bonuses that you have. I don't think I actually have bonuses. Uh... Oh, I have a, but, but I had an advantage, so I will give you a boost die. <laughs> That's not true. I do have a success because, yeah. That, yeah. You, that was, you have an extra success from battle meditation. And a boost die? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. You get an auto success. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ah, good. It's a hit. And, she'd like and you have a, a and you have a, a triumph for a crit. Yeah. I will do that. So you dash past two of the droids, hit the ground, and you slip yep. past. Vanish somewhere else. There's only one droid behind left. another rock. Next PC slot. It's a Vazia and Nuri's are the ones left. I think so. You're up there, Avazia. Okay. Uh, yeah, if it's okay, Avazia will take it out. Go for it. Difficulty two. Make your attack. So, yeah. <laughs> Last one down with the lightsaber strike. The droids are now dead. Uh. Why is Imperial Surplus still wandering around? Well, I guess it's a testament to quality of making. Ugh. Great quality. Yeah, are you done closing your eyes? Can we keep moving? If you would rather that I not protect us at all from the effects of this hunger, I can do that. There's a clanking sound as Plunk is ripping components out and shoving them into a little satchel. They're very easy to get ripped out because they're mostly, you know, uh, dinged up and destroyed from having been right? hit with yeah. rocks. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know that it's necessarily that they're really that well made than that the people who were charged with eliminating them were probably really bad at doing that. Fair, but they've survived for these look like they were here when Terrace was destroyed. So a few centuries. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Star Wars droids. Functionally immortal until something kills them. Right. Or until they rust into piles of scrap. My oil baths are... Regular oil baths are important. Can we keep moving? Plunk's got oil baths and memory wipes. Pl Plunk's like got uh, several like pieces of chassis panel. So for Nariz, he's basically you know grabbing Cannibal. organs and yeah. jamming uh -huh. right, I'm jamming them in bags and is... putting a couple over his shoulders and stuff. Right, yeah. <laughs> Brave robber. Sometimes <laughs> I wonder how. Why Taste my insides. Can we keep going? <laughs> All right. Oh, back, back. We're going. You continue on towards the listing post. And as you make your trek to the forward listing post, uh, where they are desperately trying to keep an eye out for any potential signs of infected individuals, that's where we're going to take our quick break. If you're watching on Twitch, please stay tuned for these commercial messages. And remember, when we take our break, you take your break. So stand up, stretch your legs, grab, your, grab a drink, whatever you need to do, or is, as in my case, take some medicine. Uh, and we'll be back. Uh -oh. And... Just a few minutes.
And we're back. A dinosaur story. So. Having just defeated the droid ambush. That, well, yeah, you know, ambushing droids, that's what they were. Um, the group of you make your way to the listening, to the forward listening post for the uh, forward outpost of the terrorist reclamation organization. Uh, eventually, after several hours of walking, as the sun begins to go down and terrorist begins to enter into its night cycle, you see on a hill distinct several basically a, a whole clearing away from the rubble that you've been crawling through previously um on a hill overlooking the entire area there are a series of very well camouflaged tents that if you didn't know what you were looking for and weren't actively looking for it you might have just passed over as themselves also being rubble though rubble that is conspicuously located on a hill with a good vantage point um but because you do know what you're looking for and you were told where it was, you are able to tell that there are people there as well as at least one automated turret that is active with a clear line of sight. So you angle yourselves in such a way that as you approach, you're very clearly, visibly not a rat ghoul. Um, though some of you may or may not be on your way to becoming one. Uh, and you approach. How are you wanting to approach this listening post? Openly and without malice. So you left Devasia behind and... <laughs> oh. say, so none of us are wearing a skull pendant and... <laughs> yeah. Um, openly... Uh, oh, without malice, sure. I don't know. Openly, are you... Okay, that's a choice. Without trying to give any indication that we're trying to sneak up on them or get the drop on them, which is usually openly and without malice. And the guy that can freaking soak nine. And how high up is this damage. turret? Only in melee. Uh, you can't really see the turret explicitly. You just can tell that it's there. Okay. Um, it looks like it's probably um, sort of centrally located within the listing post. Okay. Yeah, I know. Plunk will just start walking forward. Okay, Raise up the vet, the the four vials of the vaccine I have and say, we have synthesized the vaccine the hospital sent us. Make a thok roll. <laughs> you don't roll for just happens. Here. Wrong system. I'm suppressing make, again by this. Point. Make a dodge roll. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> also wrong system. <laughs> I don't. I've got too many in my brain. I can't remember what game we're playing. Make a why? No. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the information that I need. There. There, that. Make a charm roll, Neeries. What's the difficulty? Difficulty two. Okay. Uh... Do you have more? You have a rank, at least one rank in charm. Uh, no, but I've got three presents. So. Can since Plunk is also trying to greet the listening post, can he assist and give? Neri's the rank and charm that he has. Sure. Okay. Sweet. I got a temporary oh, if rank. You have one so, rank and charm. See, I have a rank and charm. <laughs> Four successes. All right. Yeah. Or even though you are a motley crew that definitely don't look like you're coming from a hospital, um, or from the uh, the medical corps. Uh, you are green. You look you are... like we escaped from a hospital. <laughs> you do have a recognizable uh, device for synthesizing vaccines on you. So they, you are met at the, at the listening post as you get up to it and get a better idea of what's going on here. you see that there are several camouflage tents that are sort of like using uh, collected rubble to build up like sort of a bunker almost that they've put together here um, with lots of devices meant to be monitoring, you know, the surrounding area, both for activity of the rat ghoul and also for any survivors. And they also have a small lab here for synthesizing vaccine and medication. They take the vaccine from you, run it through a few tests. Oh, I we don't need back. 
do not understand Jawa and ask for a translation. Pay up. Oh, we're, we're, we promised. We promised a monetary compensation for that at any point. No. No. We yes. Didn't I didn't think so. Plug- no. <laughs> uh, you, were, you were promised monetary compensation, not by them. Right. Exactly. No. I am. I am refusing to translate. Plug. No. Plug. I, I, I will. I Our will Java say. Our friend to, is just tired. I will. I will Suga. say to Plunk. I, I will say to Plunk. We were promised pay by the people back at the back at the forward hospital, not by these people. These people are people, and they work with those people. Why don't? Shouldn't because they have called ahead? You, nope. Do you do you keep your credits in two places at once? Yes. <laughs> what happens if somebody comes up to you and says, "Well." This other person who you're with said that they were going to pay me, so you need to pay me. Well, if I'm with other people, they tell me when we're going to pay people, and we pay people. So you know exactly if someone from the from the Jumbland Waste needed to pay someone right now. They, they should. We're not getting paid here. Damn it! We can get we can get paid back at the other place. They probably mm. don't have the funds here, Plunk. It's electrical. And not everywhere. There's there's plenty where it's oh not. god, analog people. Fuck. You're a Jawa. Yeah. We're professionals. We have standards. Oh. I'm fairly okay. certain you've dealt with the analog on a regular basis. Yeah, and we make it better. <laughs> Not as just... high technology as Avazia will just pat I didn't on the say head. high. Functional. Hmm. Able that... to be repaired if need be. Hmm. Does that vaccine seem uh, functional? Two of our group were bitten outside. And the, I administered it. To I wasn't them. gonna mention that until they said whether the Hell vaccine was too fun. late. <laughs> <laughs> the researchers, the researchers confirmed that the vaccine does appear to be capable of fighting. And they, they do a couple tests, and does seem to be capable of fighting off the active infection. Okay. Um. So they take a few blood samples from the two that were bitten or infected, and begin synthesizing more. Excellent. With this, you should be able to break it down and synthesize them at will. Oh, this we can have, uh, we can we can uh, inject it into a few live samplings and use those use the reactions from those samplings to collect more. Now we've got. Sorry. <laughs> it sounded like the beginning of the Doctor Who theme. It was. I'm not lie. It okay. Was. Good. Yes. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please silence your cell phones. <laughs> ah, fuck that noise. It was it was her, it was her husband go- calling her to check and see if she wanted the food because she was she was having cravings, so he went out to get her food. That's fine. Food. Silence cell phones. Um. But yeah. So they they they're able to they're able to synthesize more. Um. And they can. They thank you very much for your efforts and assure you that if you were promised compensation back at the base, it y- will be waiting for you when you arrive as they send word out that they now have an active working vaccine. Take your names and pass them along. I don't want to walk back. Can we get a ride? Uh, he will convey. Do you have potentially a speeder that we might be able to use to transport back? Uh, one of the sort of gestures at the surroundings. The use everything we have. You see here. Take that as a no. There is no speeder. Mm. Speeders. Also, Plonk. The reason they wouldn't have called ahead to say to have payment ready would be potentially because they didn't expect us to make it here alive. We should charge them more for the insult. Mm. <laughs> you are offered the use of the facility for rest. Uh, if any of you need it, which spoilers, yes, you need it, right? Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. 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 and some bunks are provided. 
Plunk's going to curl up under Avazia's bunk. Mm. Uh, they will offer. They will also offer um, five stim packs if you need them. Cool. I will take those stim packs. I was going to say now that I'm the only person them. left. Now that I'm the <laughs> only person left in the party with stim pack specialization. Uh, you can mark five additional stim packs on your inventory. Dope. <laughs> Plunk will start sorting through whatever he was able to scavenge off those old droids. <laughs> Not a lot of useful stuff. Um, you get about you get about a hundred credits worth of scrap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of it. Not a lot of it's very useful. Like, there's definitely more scrap here than you can use. Look, people have been talking about putting him into armor, so he's just gathering materials at this point. <laughs> <laughs> picturing a Jawa in like Galactic Civil War era star Jedi armor or like right, sorry, yeah. sorry, um, Republic Civil War sorry no no it was Separatist War that was it Separatist War uh, battle Jedi battle armor mm -hmm. the battle the Jedi armor that basically just looked like clone armor just customized yeah with a robe with a robe, with a robe underneath on it. it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but on a Jawa yeah. <laughs> shrink it down hmm. All right, so you have a place to rest. What are you doing while you rest and recover? Uh, I will heal myself to make the resting go faster and anyone else who needs it. Avazia needs some healing. Blunk's actually doing pretty good now. Thank you, Nerys and Corsura. I'm uninjured and... Where where is Nerys then? Um. Well, I stood there watching while they were working on the vaccines for a while because I really wanted to make sure they were okay. And it was yeah. And you all wouldn't. But we're in rest mode now. Yeah. Um. I don't want to rest. I'm not tired. I don't get tired. I'm hungry. Um. Pacing around probably the perimeter okay at some point you stumble across you you are intercepted by a jawa who's like sit down or my joints okay fine i think mm, this is awkward you're, you're in a bipedal form you can sit down yes i know but i'm not used to it i don't sit normally this is new and i haven't had this body that long we've been running around doing stupid shit <laughs> avazia has four heels left so you're healed avazia <laughs> that's uh two four six eight ten yeah two four six eight that's ten wounds away Yay. How okay. many do you have left? Wait, that was what, 10 wounds? That was an extra 10, yeah. Was that yeah. all of them? I'm good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Plunk pulls out a bottle of some sort of solvent and a rag and a brush and starts just going over your joints. <laughs> As Corserath just does Sith sorcery and knits Avazia's uh, body back together like new. So. Just, just like just shaving rust off of the joints, out of the joints and arms of the of, yep. of near his chassis. <laughs> he's he's just keeping up a, a, a kind of under his breath running commentary about all the grit that you've got in places that it shouldn't be, and the damage that it's going to do to these servos, and some of this wiring definitely needs to be patched up, you know, and... <laughs> so, interestingly, as you're doing that, you realize that several bits of that wiring aren't connected to anything, and they're just right. loose, like... and for some reason, the arm is still working. Yep. Okay, like, all right, well, we're just going to tuck that back in there and not think about <laughs> that too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of tapes over the open ends of the wire and just kind of wraps them around. You have stopped <laughs> talking. <laughs> You're put together weird. <laughs> yes. We're, we're, our, there's no one near us right now, right? I mean, just you, like just the group of you. Okay. 
there's bones inside. That's how I'm moving around. <laughs> there are bones inside. I love that as Neri's explanation. The simplest yep. one. Do you want me to go into detail? That's there are this bones one. inside. We know bones are inconvenient for us too. Well, he doesn't fuck anything up on purpose. Hmm? Nice. <laughs> as, you, as you're working in after Neri mentions that there are bones inside, you do sort of like like are cleaning out a little bit and a bit of the arm like a bit of the arm material gives way and as you're trying to patch mm-hmm. it back up, you can tell that there is bone inside bits and pieces of this chassis. And just sort of tap it with his glove ah! finger and then close that panel back. <laughs> That is <coughs> my elbow. The weird part is that it was you, in the knee. You hit my right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to ask questions. Ask. Hmm? said it's usually best yeah not to ask questions says the spy <laughs> yeah at i don't which, want at, other people asking i was gonna questions. say at <laughs> which point plunk not even looking up from the work that he's doing just says so sd how you doing oh i'm peachy wait why would why would i be anything else because you got your ass beat today i got my guts rearranged not in a good way yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it happens it's a lot the first time it won't be the last how's your brain doing with that fact it's fine like i listen i completely understand that there are certain types of fights I am very good in. Kinds where I can where I can sneaky sneaky ambush. That uh-huh. sort of thing. Getting pounced by several whatever you want to call them is not one of those things. Monsters. I, I'm not going to and let's let's hold off on the monster thing till we're sure we're free and clear. Um, ah. but it's fine. Your like, nails are a little longer than they used to be, Plunk. Right? Yeah, Plunk. Yeah, a couple of them are like sticking out the underneath uh, the raggy bits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, I'm. I they, they're. There are a lot of ways to get under my skin. There actually wasn't a pun intended there, but I... um, but getting my ass kicked in a multiple in in, in an overnumbered ambush would have been real nice if I'd been able to spot them beforehand. But other than that, I'm good. Get some scanners. Hmm. I think that was just going to happen no matter what, to be honest. My old chassis had heat binoculars. Those were nice. Why didn't you transfer them over? Hmm? Uh, face plate got smashed in. Wouldn't work. They were, it got destroyed. Like proper destroyed or a little fucked? Hmm. Uh, pretty squashed. Yeah, okay. You did take a header into a building. <laughs> yeah. I'll see what I can arrange. I still have a set of thermo binoculars if anyone needs them. Ooh. But they're a handheld variety. I mean, the binoculars weren't going to help us in that situation. Particularly since they were droids and don't have quite as much of a heat signature. I was talking about the the, the zombies. Hey, the rat ghouls as well, but 
I know I know the I know the droids did more to you, but I was more concerned about <laughs> nearly dying at the hands of the organic beings. Do I still have a fever? Or is that Yes, you both do. Okay. <sighs> All right, well, until we get some joint buffers, Nuri's try to stay out of the dustier spots, and he just kind of pats your knee a couple times and okay. That's wraps some, some stuff up. Some rust pff, poofs off of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I make a coughing sound. <laughs> you gonna tell me you have lungs in there with your bones? No, I'm messing with you. No, you're not. <laughs> Damn it. There are lungs in here, but they're not mine. Opens Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, been storing uh, these for a while. Yeah. I, I've been building up a collection of body parts. <laughs> I'm trying to rebuild my body. You see. Oh, Look, God. some people collect some some of you organics wander around, collect spare parts, and build droids. I'm just doing the same in reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> building an organic. Yes. Picturing like, program it. I'm just picture like a nursery droid that has several like intubation tubes. Like intubation <laughs> yeah. tubes nope. 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 It's Horizon Zero Dawn. Johnny. <clears throat> Sleep time. <clears throat> so. Once we get this, uh, we'll, we finish up here. On to the source of the unrest. It will likely make the rest of our time on Terrace much easier. Get paid, get armor, right. then unrest. Hmm. That's fair. Allowing, allowing Plunk to be mauled for lack of armor is likely not advisable. Not to me. It is. It's not great. That's for sure. Also, if we wait until they synthesize more of the, that that vaccine, we can get some more and bring it with us, in case you all get mauled again. Oh, I've already been mauled. I now have natural immunity. It can't hurt me anymore. That's not how that works. Oh <laughs> no! I also can't Ab transmit it to anybody else. Absolutely <laughs> not. That's also not how that works. Ask I know, any medical I'm professional currently around us. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are currently surrounded with medical professionals who will tell you that is not how that works. But but your body makes antibodies, right? Yes, that doesn't guard against claw attacks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hurt me. I'm immune to these claws. <laughs> Why am I in several pieces now? So, you all rest. Yep. For various definitions of rest. Esty and Plunk, your fever breaks in the night. Ooh. You're feeling much better by the morning. It does seem that the vaccine did work and that you are slowly recovering from whatever illness was set upon you. You wake in the morning. Terrace's light cycle has come back. And in this particular case, I mean the cycle in which it is light outside as opposed to a digital device that runs in a straight line leaving a wall behind it. Right. Cool as that would be. Looking at you, Tron. <sighs> Walk back. I suppose. I get paid for that perform the other tasks that we're out here to get paid for, go find equipment, come back with more vaccines and weaponry and armor. I am going to ask if we can take some of the samples with us to get to the hospital as well. Probably wise. 
Or, yeah, you they'll, know, they'll give us you a case. If we get attacked on the way back. Yeah. They'll give you a uh, case of synthesized. Of synthesized. Uh, they'll let you know they already sent a runner ahead. Um, awesome. But they'll give you a case. Of, the, the, the runner would have only have been able to carry a small amount, so they'll mm -hmm. give you a, a larger case that, that you can carry with you since you're a larger group. Excellent. Okay. Also, you know, in case the runner gets mauled by rat ghouls on the way back. Yes, that too. That's always it. good to always good to have redundancies. Mm -hmm. You have a case of ten vaccines. Excellent. Goes in the chassis. This is not a synthesizer kit that you've been given this time. This is just a cold storage kit. No. Mm -hmm. So, won't be able to make more with it, but you have 10 if you need it, and hopefully you yep. don't, and can give it to the to the medical professionals when you get there. Please tell me we're not going to need 10. I hope so. Hey, it's only two of these. Five of us. Hey, as long as one of you only needs one dose, we'll be okay. Well, you head out. Someone roll me a yep. 100. I'll do it. 96. That can't be good. Or it the could be great. haven't been great. No, they haven't. That's why I said that can't be good. Great dragon. Great dragon. Get that pearl. On Terrace? Why not? Weirder shit has happened. Yep. The A team shows up. That's the. How was that the A team scene? It definitely wasn't. I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> Confusion. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The fact that it's taking this long to figure out yeah, what happened is making me less and less <laughs> sanguine yeah, about our chances. So, <laughs> you are heading towards... It's okay, you'll get a pilot out of the deal. You're heading towards... Heading back towards the forward operating base. Mm -hmm. Taking a bit more of a roundabout route to get there so that you don't stray too close to the hospital and get to the, and get run to more rat ghouls. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we'll get targeted rat ghouls instead. Uh, so you make a bit of a wider berth, and as you do, you pass by several um ruins of crashed ships and uh you know buildings that have collapsed down on top of them and from them. As you do, everyone make me a perception check. Diff two, perception. Uh, yeah, diff two. One advantage. Perception. It's a wash. Failure. One advantage. You have a success. Yeah, that's a success. Success. Not a success. I'm sorry. I'm out of it. <laughs> think of them. They're, think of them as hits because they're like the comic book style punch balloon. Get a hit. Just out of it right now. Esty, <laughs> you got three hits. That's three Batman goons that have been knocked out. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, so, Esti Navasia, you notice that one of the turrets on that downed ship has power. Is it aiming at us? It's aimed in your general direction. And at roughly that point, a voice calls out, First, well, I mean, a voice. First, there is uh, a loud voice, uh, a loud, the loud voice of a Wookiee calling out in Shiriwook, which, <laughs> for those of you that understand Shiriwook, here, uh, uh, put your valuables on the ground and back away slowly, and we won't turn the ground you're standing on into a crater. What are the people who don't understand? I do, but I just want you to just... <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Your accent is a little pitchy, but other than that, yeah, very yeah. good. 
For those of you that also don't understand Shiri Wilk and hear that, that is punctuated then by the sound of several blasters being primed. Uh, we've got bandits. You think? How big of a turret is that on that ship? Is it like turbo laser or just like mine, like larger than normal blaster? Make them, uh, you can make a mechanics check or a uh, gunnery gunnery warfare? check or warfare check difficulty two to determine what kind of gun it is uh, one advantage <laughs> mechanics gunnery or warfare. i am bad see. at all those things i'm i am also bad at all those things let's find out i'll let's... roll warfare without any skill in it yeah i'll try warfare nope i gotta wash <laughs> no one knows what that gun is it's a nope. turret mm. Nope. None of y'all have none of you are starship mechanics, so none of you have really spent a whole lot of time staring at the guns of uh, of starships. It's a big gun. I cool. literally do not give a shit. The ship is downed though, right? It is. What's the what's the firing angle on that gun? Directly at you, apparently. Split in different directions on three. One, two, one. <laughs> as we, as we break right. off in, in separate we directions. We do the exact same. We do the exact thing that my first group in a WoW dungeon did when I was the healer. <laughs> yeah. Which is run in every direction. Make a pincer so- movement. That's not everyone, how pincers work. Everyone that <laughs> everyone that understood what SD and Corsarath were talking about can make their initiative roll as if they're prepared. And if you were confused by what was being said, you can make it as if unprepared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one one. Make sure you get get your difficulties. I damn it. <laughs> Remove that two oh please so I can do that again without difficulty. Two two. Too. Don, if you could drop that too. I, well I thought I did, but it, it, it there it goes. There it goes. I clicked it and it didn't do anything. There we go. <laughs> Three, four. All right. I'm so glad that cool is a presence skill. Right? Mm uh-huh. hmm. All right. Ooh, so one of them pirates is jumpy. <laughs> NPC slot goes first. As you all split, I need you all to make uh, a roll for me. Cool. Really excited to go unconscious. Coordination. Uh, athletics. Yeah, give me a coordination check. You all make di- coordination difficulty two. Neres, as the one who was confused and didn't know what was going on, make it with difficulty three. Okay. Five successes. Uh, I did have flow up before this, so. Set coordination. I have the upgrade where I can use enhance on coordination, so I will do that. Uh, that is one six or nope, nope. It's it's one failure. Glad I did that because I'm gonna flip a light side. I'm gonna flip a <laughs> destiny point. <laughs> Probably good. Ordinary. <laughs> Listen. In my defense, Estee didn't think it was that secret of what they were saying. So bad news, Nuri's just got fucking bodied. Uh, <laughs> Nuri's was like, maybe we can talk our way out of this, but no, you all. <laughs> maybe we just well, do what fuck they that say. Noise. <laughs> They're fucking no. I've got all nope, my valuables nope, nope. inside my chest. They wouldn't know. 
I just need to double check something really quick. <laughs> As I need to know what a particular item quality does. So I turned that into several successes. <laughs> yes, you did. Mm -hmm. I also take a bunch of cool uh, conflict. Conflict. Uh, so, how many of you got successes? I did. I got everyone, but everyone but Neris. Cool. So everyone but Neris manages to get out of the way of the initial blast zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Uh, this is going to be difficulty two because of what it is. Boost die. I'm going to use. I'm going to use a dark side on this to upgrade it. What's your ranged defense, Nearies? If you have any, one. One. Oh dear. <laughs> so the starship cannon, which turns out to be an ion cannon, uh, just blasts into the area where you're standing as you all sort of dodge out of the way and just see this electrical arcing energy hit the ground and scatter about. Most of you manage to get clear of the blast radius. Neres doesn't. Neres is a droid. Neri's, that's 11 damage. Okay, 11 damage. Uh, it goes straight I... to your strain. Okay. Uh, it's 11 strain? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's not something I can do uh, reflect on, right? Um, you can't. cannot reflect this because it is ion, which okay. normally doesn't affect people in that okay. way. It's not really, it's not, it's not like a blast. It's a EMP it's, kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a burst. Gotcha. It's like a, it's an electrical discharge. Eleven strain. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it ignores your soak, so I just go straight to your strain. Yep. So, there's this electrical discharge as the ground sort of fries a little bit underneath underneath Neri's, who just takes the whole thing. Yep. Hey, what silhouette is this ship? Mm. The remain of the ship, the remains of the ship, sure. To tell. Um, it's sort of embedded in a building. Hey, the combined, secure mountings, man. The combined, the combined silhouette of the object is, uh, would be silhouette eight. Okay. It's like, how are your strength? How many strength upgrades do you have? Can you spend enough force points to do that? Uh, no, I had, I can get up to silhouette four. Which is roughly the size of a starfighter. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is this is a large chunk of ship and a building. The ship probably isn't as big as big as that by itself, but because it's embedded in the building, it gains a larger silhouette. Makes sense. Well, I should I should point out that uh, you increase your 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 targeted silhouette by the number of strength upgrades you have up to a maximum the extra. Uh, right up to the maximum of the amount of strength upgrades that i have so i can go up to four hmm. yeah there are two different there are two different builds there's strength and magnitude no yeah spend spend force points to increase the maximum silhouette objects so a character can move by a number equal to the number of strength upgrades purchased the user may activate this multiple times increasing the silhouette of the objects he can move by this number each time so if you have wow. two strength upgrades, every force point you spend increases your max silhouette by two. Yeah, no, I have three strength upgrades. So, so. every every point you spend increases your max silhouette by three. Oh, okay, interesting. So if you spend so three force points, I... you could you could move it. Okay. Well, neat. <laughs> you would need to have three force points to spend on it, but I've got I've got a force rating of five. That's quite possible. I could get three three force points. <laughs> I might need to get closer to it, but this is know. this is what happens when you have a force rating of five. You can throw buildings around. <laughs> um, yeah, John, are we at like medium range, long range to it? What are 
um, relatively right now. You're you're at uh, long range. Long range. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just cool. Things. Yeah, no, it doesn't have it doesn't institute a limit. Well, neat. That's having all the strength upgrades is how a, is how someone like Star Killer pulls a Star Destroyer out of the sky. Yeah. Well, and also the range upgrades. Yeah, I was gonna having say the range, range upgrades, range to upgrades would be helpful too. Yeah, because you have range as well as strength. Uh, all right. So that's the first NPC slot. Blasted a whole bunch of ion at into Neres. Makes it a PC slot. I would like to go first. All right. Because I can do my thing. How far is everyone away from me? Do we all just get one range band away from each other? or? Yeah, you all spread out in different directions, effective to a range band. So you're all yeah. one range band away from each other. Okay, so I need, I need one extra force point to make this work. So I'm going to use my action for battle meditation. I don't have any difficulty on this. Good thing. I'm going to spend a force point. Take that conflict. Hmm. That like too strange. If you use dark side on uh, it. Does, it does do a different thing. Well, it does the same thing, but with a side effect. What's the side uh, effect? If the user used any dark scythe to generate force points, reduce each target's willpower by one to a minimum of one until the end of the encounter. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. That's not good. All right. So I've got a temporary reduction to willpower. Yeah, you all get this sort of, rather than the more serene, like, coordinated battle meditation that it was previously, the aura that Corsaraz is currently generating is more of a battle frenzy. You're all sort of a little bit more hyped to kill things than you were previously. <laughs> Good news. You still got the automatic successes. Good news. My willpower is already one. So, yeah. so it doesn't, so it doesn't change. <laughs> it doesn't affect you at all. Um, and are we still just getting one auto success for Yeah, everything? you, you get okay. one auto success for everything. All right. I will, I will say because your willpower is lowered, I mean, mechanically, you're already having more. You're already going to have more difficulty on the discipline check. I'm going to say until that will until that effect ends, um, you wouldn't. If you were susceptible to an effect that would try to increase your hunger, you would not get that boost die because okay. you are currently because of the willpower in, effect right now. Yeah, yeah, you're currently leaning into it. So right. So if if a hunger burst fires off before the end of the encounter, yeah, you won't. You wouldn't get that boost die. It almost I'm like sure that he's saying happen. that. Just to prep us for something that is about. To I know, happen. yeah. There's no reason why he would take the time to explain that. Otherwise, uh, also uh, because it's an effect that William can use again multiple times, and it might come up in the future. Yeah. Um. Uh. And with that, uh, is there very large cover nearby? <laughs> uh. No. Okay. Not, not. Not. Not within distance. No. Is there a reasonably sized cover nearby? Yes, where the pirates are. Cool. I was going to say within a range band for me to move to, but... No. Cool. You, you, you were all sort of on a road path, explicitly staying away from the ruins where the, the rat goals were. Right. Which sort of left mm -hmm. you a little bit in the open. Mm -hmm. All right. Can uh, Plunk go next? Well, I still have to figure <laughs> oh, out what I'm doing right. with the remainder. Your maneuvers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. my maneuver. Have you ever Drop prone? Uh... What's the range band for most of the pirates right now? Right now, they are in uh, long, the long range, the, you said, the, right? Yeah, oh. the cannon and everything in that area is in long range. Uh, hang you on. Really see, you can't really to... see the pirates yet. They haven't revealed themselves, except for the cannon. Force sleep is an action. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I will drop prone. Army crawl. Basically. Oh man. So uh, it's just a completely sidebar, but thanks to the new um thanks to the new um 
hero library feature on Hero Forge, I have learned so many new techniques for making minis on Hero Forge. In addition to creating unique poses using a tail that's hidden. Um, I've also learned how to make lightsabers look like lightsabers in Hero Forge rather than just glowy sticks. Nice. Of of amusing note, um, you don't have to be standing to do the force leap. So you can basically just from a pro position, just shove yourself a distance and just launch yourself with your hands and feet, basically. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Next PC slot. Plunk would like to go. Um, can He's going to suffer two strain to go from long to medium, medium to short. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's just running straight at the pirates, <laughs> waving a stick, and then he's going to try and force move that ship. All right. We're going to dig deep. And we're going to try and see what happens here. Let me remove my difficulty because I just need force dice. Just flip it on its side. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's spending, he's spending another uh, light side point to get all seven of those. Okay. So another so two conflict. You, you, you need three of them to move the ship. All right, I need three of them to move the ship. So one to one to effect, one to activate. Right, three for the ship. Three for the ship's size. Um, and then he is going to and just... one for the range band. I'm assuming. No, because short range is default. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's in short range to the ship. So yeah, and then he's using the other three to. He literally wants to because I assume I can see where the pirates are by now, more or less. He's they going to take of, this. They haven't come out from hiding yet. Okay. He's going to take this ship. He's going to lift it up, spin it around 180 degrees, and set it like right in front of him. Wherever their position was, he's putting the ship now in engaged range with his face so that the ship is and the building are now forming a natural barrier between us and those pirates. So yeah, so they're hear... gonna have to come around. Yeah, right. <laughs> you hear... So yeah, so you all watch as Plunk moves forward and sort of reaches out and grabs the air, and there's this metal, there's this horrendous rending sound as the metal, as this destroyed starship, is pushed free of the of the uh, 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 plascrete housing um, that it was been, that has been stuck in, and just wrenched into the air is this massive uh, hunk of metal comes up and then hovers slowly over towards where Plunk is and then comes back down, creating a large barricade between where it had been. And you hear shouts coming in various different, you know, alien languages, you know, about some of the, uh, one that you hear distinctly coming out saying, uh, uh, just like, holy fuck, they've got a Jedi with them. You know, that kind of a general reaction. And then he whips around and looks at everybody being scattered now we've got cover <laughs> and he did specify that he wanted to turn the ship around so the ion yeah, cannon so is facing the, ion the wrong cannon way is now facing yeah, yeah, the yeah. other way right yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so you hear so as as the as the pirates are panicking you hear that strong wookie voice uh echo out going uh, and basically in shiri wook again for those that understand yeah they've got a jedi i've killed those before as one of the doors on the like one of the one of the like airlock doors on the spaceship that you moved mm -hmm. bursts open as this large black furred Wookiee steps out, leans over, and levels a bowcaster at you, Plunk. Cool. I would like to use da 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 da. -da. Uh, sense advantage. He gets if he's shooting at me, he gets two uh, setback dice. Hmm. I can do this once per game. Hmm. All right, two setback dice. Just to make it slightly harder for him to shoot my fucking head off. <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any range defense? Uh, no. Mm -mm. All right, he is in short range to you because he's not yep. right next to you. He was mm -hmm, inside mm -hmm. the ship. So one difficulty, two setback, an upgrade, one boost. Uh, 
All right. Ooh, so, nicely done. 11 damage as this just the massive bit of green bolt of energy erupts from the bowcaster to aimed at you. Mm-hmm. Yep. I have a soak of one, which means 10 damage, which is exactly my wound threshold. <laughs> Do you collapse when you go over or when you hit? Well, when you go over. You're still standing. If you're at the threshold, you're still standing. It's when you go until when you pass the threshold that you go over. Okay. Um uh, requires two advantage to trigger knockdown. So you're not knocked prone from the from okay. the hit. So yeah, it's just right, yeah. And then he's gonna take two strain to duck back into the ship. Okay. As this big black furred Wookiee just blasts yep. and then ducks back into cover. Yep. Yeah, Plunk probably just gets spun completely around and just slams his back against the ship that he just dropped on the ground. Yes, Plunk, thank you for moving the enemy closer to us and harder to find. <laughs> I'd like to point you to my zero ranks in warfare. <laughs> oh, he gave us cover my, from anyone who wasn't in the ship. And my two intelligence. <laughs> PC wait, why is there only why are there only two NPC slots? There one are one for the there... cannon, one for the oh NPC slots? Yeah. yeah. I, there's two. I rolled three initiatives, didn't I? No, just two. Hmm. I know oh, no, you he did roll three. Oh, did you? Yeah. Pirate, pirate, Wookie. What the what the third pirate make? Uh pirate one pirate was a 5-0, one was a 2-1, and the Wookiee was an 0-1. Oh, for some reason the 0-1 didn't hit. Uh, NPC add there you go fortunately not hard to uh, not hard to correct there we go what you gonna do right. call 5 PC slot can Abazia uh, go go ahead is that okay no that's fine go ahead okay uh, how far away is the Wookiee? You can't um, see anymore. Yeah. You can't see anymore. The ship, the ship, the ship itself. The ship itself is two range bands away now. Okay. And he just ducked it. It was moved right in front of us. Well, no, it was moved right in front of Plunk, who moved two right. range bands away. Mm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. I basically moved it one range band closer. <laughs> yeah. Avazia will um, move as close as she can. So to him we this round to get to the start to get to mm -hmm. the to get to where Plunk is basically. Yes. And look at the Wookiee and say the Wookiee. He's, he's inside uh, the ship. Can't see him. Well, she will still loudly say, A Wookiee, I've killed those before. <laughs> Make an intimidation check, difficulty two. Where is intimidation? Uh, uh, it's coercion. Yeah, I, oh, coercion. coercion. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting what abilities are called. It's because every system, every system has to name it something different because. Yeah. Fuck players, am I right? Because marketing. Okay, uh, nobody's marketing around intimidation versus coercion. Um, is that no? Your, but they want to be with distinct. Your, is that with your reduced willpower, by the way? Um, I don't think so. So you're gonna want to drop your willpower by one and roll that again, please. Okay. Okay, so you 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 make the you make the the threat, and the only sound you get in return is the sound of blasters being primed. Next PC slot. Um. All right. Where is anybody else? 
So you are one range band away from Corserath and Neres. Right. Two range bands away from Avasia, Plunk, and the ship. And the pirates, as far as you can tell, are one range band further from that. And except for the Wookiee that you've identified is inside the ship. There's two next range to bands away. Technically three, because you have to get into the ship, but that's mostly So the same two... amount of range band range bands as everybody else. Yeah. Okay. Slightly different though, because it's you know inside got the ship it, versus. Got it. There's across. nine minutes left. Yeah. Um <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna move to range bands because that's all I got. Rush up towards where the ship is to get cover from the rest of the pirates. Yep. All right. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else I can do. Right. Nerys? Um, I. Yeah, I can't get to anything either. I'm going to rush up and uh try and get Plunk up. And uh, again. If you take two strain from taking a second maneuver, does that do anything terrible to you right now? Uh, nope. I'm still good. Okay. I'm at 13 out of 18. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> all right. And medicine check. Uh, difficulty two, though. You heal four wounds. Cool. Um, and I am going to recover four, uh, two strain. Or All actually, right. you heal uh, six wounds. Okay, cool. Even better. All right. Yep. That's my turn. NPC slot. So, from you, you see several pirates sort of step out from their cover along the sort of ruined rubble hill that they've basically established themselves, this sort of collapsed building where they have they pop out of windows, pop around cover, and all just sort of aim. There you are all you all also have cover, so you have in you have actually you have two additional setback dice to their attacks as they're trying to hit you from around the ship that you're behind. Uh-huh. Uh, everyone except for Course Wrath, who still is further beyond. Um but Right now, there's only two groups of them, so one group of them is going to try to hit Plunk as the biggest threat, as the one that lifted the ship. <laughs> we'll say, actually, Plunk, you've got an extra one because you're so small. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So that's an extra three to your range of defense. Do you, what, do you have any native range defense? I know I keep asking. No, just, I just got one melee. Mm. Okay, so right now you've got a temporary three to your range of defense. Everyone else has a temporary boost to two, except for Course Wrath, who is too far away. Um, I just had the one for being prone. <laughs> well, they're currently at medium, so it's gonna be too difficulty. Reset back. No boost die. No upgrade. Hey. But yeah. So there's just a hail of blaster fire. <laughs> But it's ricocheting off the uh, off the starship that you've put between. Right. Ding, ding, ding. Um, Course Wrath is far away and also on the ground, so the second group is going to uh, aim for the one that threatened the Wookiee. Uh, what's your range defense, Asya? One. One, so plus two, so that's three, and then an upgrade for your armor. They're definitely not going to hit you, but they're going to try to put you, try to keep you in cover or keep you pinned for as long as possible. Suppressive fire. Mm. Actually, they think gunfire will stop me. <laughs> Actually, hang on, that's a good thing, Jack. Thank you for pointing that out to me. What? <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. That's <laughs> suppressive fire. Is that a thing? It is a I'm thing. Pretty sure it's a thing. Oh. <laughs> It's an action maybe, that you can take, I believe. Maybe, you maybe, maybe if I maybe if I ever play a character with a gun in this system. <laughs> so far, it's all been lightsabers and grenades. Let's see. Additional, it'll be additional combat maneuvers. Uh, 
I know there's a thing for suppressive virus somewhere. I'm not seeing it anywhere. It might be. It might be a, like a talent that you have to have in your career tree. Hmm? Yeah, that might be where I'm thinking it's from. Because I don't remember seeing it as something that you can just do. But mm -hmm. yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna take a regular shot, and I'll look it up later. They're not that. Uh, yeah, the Guardian War Leader has a suppressive fire talent. Mm. Let you spend advantage to inflict strain on your target. Yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna try to shoot a Valsia around cover and miss. Yeah. So again, more more blaster fire raining down, but it's pinging off the ship that has been handily put in the way. So as we get back to the top of the round. Uh, cause that was one, two. So actually, so that would, that would be the top of the round would be the second group that was firing. So we get to the first PC slot. As we get back to the first PC slot, that's where we are going to go ahead and call it for the night. Uh, several of you are hunkered behind a starship. Uh, and one of you is a little bit further out in the open as fire rains from above. Uh, so we'll go ahead and leave it there. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.